Next, no fields, no soil, no tractors, and almost no workers needed to run it. Vertical farming is becoming an increasingly popular way to grow things like salad leaves and herbs. Now, it already relies on specialist lighting and nutrient-rich water to work, and now a high-tech Hertfordshire warehousing firm wants to use its expertise in automation to improve that process further. They have a concept farm to show how it can all work. Helen Mulroy has been along. At a warehouse district in East London, we're about to visit a farm. Of course, it's not your typical farm, but this is the future of agriculture. This is a vertical farm. Farms like this allow us to grow food in a really densely packed space um, and allow us to grow things that we wouldn't normally be able to grow in the UK in the UK. An engineering company founded in Cambridge are behind the design of this place. It's built to optimise the amount of plants that can grow. We're able to create the perfect summer's day, 18 hours of perfect growing climate, 365 days a year. We're able to control every element that the crop needs to grow. So the lights, the temperature, the humidity, the water and the nutrients. So we can create the perfect day every day for the plants. Vertical farms like this one exist all over the country, but they're fairly small scale. Now Cambridge Hock are partnering with a Hertfordshire based storage and automation business, SEC, to try and supersize farms like this one. And it's in all our interests that they do so. As we travel from a 7 billion population to a 9 billion population by 2050, we're going to have to massively upscale the amount of food that we're creating. We need to put 40% more food on the same land we're currently growing it on. So being able to create high intensity environments like this one, where you'll be able to massively increase the amount of growth that comes out of a farm, is really important. In 18 months time, these two companies plan to open a vertical farm with 100 times the growing space of this one. While these racks may be three metres high, in the new farm they will be five times this height at 15 metres high. And that is where automation becomes crucial. The farm that we're looking at, this automated farm, goes up to 15 metres. That means an increase in, um, in height, which is difficult for people to be able to access. But we also have to combat other factors such as, for example, labour shortages in our industry at the moment. The situation in Ukraine, with its impact on fertiliser and grain prices, is the latest thing to highlight just how fragile our food security is. Could vertical farms provide the solution and take the future of our food to the next level? Helen Mulroy, BBC Look East.